From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night here on Evenings Light as more stimulus coming to millions of Americans and they're all in the incredible membership newsletter, which will go over tonight after stimulus check C. Stimulus checks A to C passed by President Joe Biden. Stimulus check E passed by Congress and expanded by the Biden administration a week ago today. And then stimulus checks L to Q, these are all 2023 stimulus checks for you, SSI. SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. This is federal stimulus for Americans in US states, and US territories. We'll go over how to get these double checks. We'll go over stimulus checks A, B, and C for the president. Then after stimulus check C, we'll take a break and look at that incredible membership newsletter. Have you become a member? That's where you get all these incredible stimulus checks. Then we'll go to stimulus checks E for K. And that E that was expanded by the Biden administration we go, we go today. And then L to Q. It's prime time, and tonight we'll go over that massive half a million dollar stimulus check, stimulus check R, the children's checks, PEBT, the unemployment stimulus, and it's all in the federal membership newsletter. Then, in the big second half, we'll go over the expansion of stimulus, we'll go over the latest details of what happened with this economy, and also why this got so interesting. Is crypto under fair? Well, we'll go over the crypto stalking rumors that were heated up yesterday and its impact on the markets in the big second half Crypto Wall Street Live. We had some corporate earnings that came in today and Lyft needed a lift because it did not deliver. Expedia, Travel and Leisure may need to take a trip because also it was under pressure today as well. We have the latest details of expansion of stimulus checks and we'll also jump into some live charts and we'll get a preview of next week because what is next week? More inflationary data. And in tonight's primetime broadcast, I give you my commentary on one of the most difficult things in the last two years, which really was inflation. And how I was so excited to finally see this inflation at the supermarkets, at least in Los Angeles, finally go away in the last 48 hours. I want the latest details across the board, plus Anne asked for me to go over artificial intelligence that's heating up chat GPT that heats up tonight's broadcast from the shorts of Santa Monica. It's a brand new show, it's a brand new broadcast. And it's America's most watched show for prime time of financial news. It's all right. And it all starts right now. Good evening, everybody. Our broadcast starts tonight with Stimulus Live, those 2023 stimulus checks, and they're all law. We're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now. These are 2023 stimulus checks passed law for Americans and U.S. states and U.S. territories. We'll go over stimulus checks A to C, then we'll take a break, look at that membership newsletter after stimulus check C, then we'll go to stimulus checks E through K, L to Q, and because this is prime time, we'll go over the more stimulus checks, including that half a million stimulus do half a million dollar stimulus check, stimulus check R, unemployment, and also children's checks. First, let's start with stimulus checks A, B, and C. Again, all these stimulus checks on your screen have the same eligibility. They're for you. Go get them. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. Stimulus checks for you, SSA. Stimulus checks for you, veterans. Stimulus checks for you, low income. And how do you get them? In the membership newsletter, which again, we'll go over after stimulus check C. But let's start with stimulus check A, B first right now. These are stimulus checks passed by the President of the United States in spring of last year, and they're huge. The President of the United States came along and passed a series of executive actions in spring of 2023, which established, spring of last year, which established the first three checks a, B, and C. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. I love it. But stimulus check B is really the check that pays the most months. This is the check that's paying 18 months of monthly stimulus checks, MSCs. Congratulations, Purple Power. You advocated for it. It became law. It's a monthly stimulus check. And this is what Frank Mancusa got as a member. He's getting lots of monthly stimulus checks. Let's look at these incredible stimulus checks A, B, and C right now. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. It's just wonderful. 
Then we go to Stimul check B. And Stimul check B is the check that pays the most months of checks. 18 months, five checks per month, 3,000 loss across the board. We have a lot of great different stimulus checks over tonight's broadcast, and I'll highlight which checks I like for particular reasons. I like B for obvious reasons. It pays the most months, and it pays the most checks. It's stimulus check B. Become a member right now and go right into that membership news and get stimulus check B. Again, we'll go over that stimulus check B after we get to stimulus check C, which we're going to do right now. Rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. In the membership news, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more for stimulus check C. And you want to shoot for 18 months of these checks because that's what viewers are getting on average. You deserve these sums of money. Let's look and see some of the success stories that should inspire you. Always inspire other people, part of the Purple Power community. Let's look at some of the incredible success stories we've had with viewers on this channel and members. $30,000 of rent. If you want to become a member, in the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for rent at Stimulus Check C. Utilities. 12 different places to reach out for this. And with utilities and rent, viewers are averaging about 18 months of checks. How many utility bills do you have per month? Five. The water, the heating oil, the electric, the telephone. Go get them all paid. Again, 12 different places in that membership newsletter. Do it right across the board. Combination to checks. Well, don't start with just one check, get more checks. And tonight's broadcast, it's important to understand that you need to look at your notes, look at that worksheets that you have for the membership newsletter. Did you get your checks lined up for March yet? How about April? Get them ready. Did you get all your checks for February? Go back and double check. Did you leave out a check for February? Or maybe you thought you got paid for it and you didn't. You didn't get the application in. Go do it right now. Combinations to checks, let's look at those numbers right now. Here's Mark, who's at 32,000. He went to 50,000. Then he went to 100000 Then he went to $166,000. And here's Lorraine. She was at $105,000. She went to $155,000. Again, this is Stimul Check C. In the membership newsletter, have you become a member right now? Join the channel. This is where people are cleaning up. And $105,000 is not the ceiling. We have a lot of viewers who have gotten over $200,000 of 2023 stimulus checks from this channel. Dragon, triple member to all three channels, is holding $170,000. In these incredible stimulus checks so far through A to C, we have rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. But coming up in the big second half, or coming up in the next five minutes, I should say, we have home repairs, the computer, the car, the free internet, and more. It's coming up in just a second. That's a preview of what's coming up in stimulus checks E through K. Now, as promised, after stimulus check C, I want to go over that membership newsletter. And we're going to do that starting right now. So you're excited about these stimulus checks. C pays the most months, and you want to know where do I get them. Step one, you become a member. Then you go into this video and go right into that newsletter. And that's where you pounce and get these incredible checks. All the same eligibility. And what is that newsletter? It's right here. This is the newsletter. News.lla.com forward slash newsletter. That is the newsletter. It's a website. And the website's live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't even have to write down the website. Because why? I put this website, the newsletter website, at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of every video on all three channels. That is the newsletter website at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. The only last step that you have to do is grab the password from the most recent post on the YouTube community page. Not the LLA community page, the YouTube community page. So if you're going to alert that's a new video airing tonight, a new alert that's a new video airing tomorrow, it says right in every alert, current password. I sent out that current password nearly 300 times a day, and you're not going to miss it because it says current password of beautiful hawk right next to it. Grab that password and go to that password-protected website and start applying for stimulus checks A, B, and C. B is the one that pays the most months of checks. Let's continue the next checks, E through K, that came from Congress. And the President of the United States expanded stimulus check E on Friday, a week ago today. He made it larger across the board, and that stimulus check E is even better than it was before. $7,500, but now more money and broad eligibility for that stimulus check E. G is 30% off. H, $2,000 stimulus check. I love it. Again, these are checks from Congress from last year. L and Q. 8,000 and 8,000 both, and K, excuse me, 
uh, I and J, I should say, eight and eight, and then K, $14,000 stimulus check. After that, I found other stimulus checks, and those are L to Q. L and M, L is $100,000 on average of loan interest for money, M a $4,000 stimulus check, N, I like N a lot. A lot of people love stimulus check N, but it's a brand new computer. Which one? Stimulus N, brand new computer, tablet, laptop, free internet, high speed internet, I should say. And zero down payments, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage is O, P, 3% refi, and Q, an $8,000 stimulus check. So there you go. Those are your 2023 stimulus checks law for you Americans in U.S. states, in U.S. territories, passed over the last three years because the way the laws work is that once they're passed, they remain laws so long as they're still funded and these are still funded. They all have the same eligibility. They're for USSI, SSDI, SSA, low income. They are all in that membership newsletter. Go right into it right now. Become a member. The newsletter is at the top of the chat. This website, the pinned comment, and the description of the video. It's at news.li.com forward slash newsletter. Where do I apply for the checks? In the newsletter. Where's the newsletter? That website. Where is it posted? The top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of this video and every video on all three of the LL8 broadcasting channels. Grab the password from the most recent post to you from the YouTube community page and put it right in there and you are into that password protected website. Throughout the day, you're getting alerts on new videos airing on your channel as a member. And every alert from a brand new video says current password. Has a little hawk and it says current password. It'll say there's a new video at three o'clock and right after it'll say current password. That's the password, so simple. Again, it's sent to you nearly 300 times a day. Current password, it's updated once per day in the morning. Put it right in there and you're ready to rock and roll. And those are your beautiful stimulus checks, A to Q. Of those checks, which ones do I like the most? I love N because a brand new computer, tablet, and laptop. That's N like Nancy. B pays the most monthly stimulus checks. You advocate for as part of the Purple Power community. We got it. I like the home repairs and the computer and the car. I love all that, of course. And I also like the other stimulus checks that only heat up primetime shows on L8 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to look at those right now. I love stimulus check R. Why? Because it's the biggest stimulus check. It's over a half a million dollars. It's the Employee Tax Retention Credit, and it's in the membership newsletter. And if you had an employee in 2019 and kept them on staff when the pandemic hit, you're going to get paid a ransom sum of money. I should, I should say ransom. A massive sum of money. A massive sum of money. And how much is it? Upwards of $26,000 per employee. So if you kept that employee on staff from 2019 to 2021, you're going to get paid $26,000 per employee. If this was 20 employees, you're going to get a half million dollars of money. It's incredible. It's only on L8 in prime time, and it's only in that incredible membership newsletter. Also, children's checks. If you had children that had to stay home from the pan, from the schools during the pandemic, and you had to pay for their meals, even though schools would normally pay for it, that's PEBT checks. Those are coming out to you as well. Details of them are heating up broadcasts all throughout this channel. That is the PEBT checks. Finally, unemployment stimulus. Unemployment will never be forgotten because it's a bread and butter of this channel, and I want to make sure you know how it works. Unemployment is for people who are fired as a W-2 employee anytime, even now. Step one, file a claim. Go to your state's Department of Unemployment and say, I'm a fired W-2 employee. That's what happened. Date you're fired. You put it in. Then I'll ask you three questions. Willing to work? Yes. Able to work? Yes. Want some checks? Yes. Done. Claim will be approved, step one. But you got to do step two. On step two, I'll ask you, which weeks were you still a fired, unemployed W-2 person? And I'll ask you to do one week at a time, and you'll do that one week at a time until you bring it up to the present when you got a brand new job, and you're ready to rock and roll. That's tens of thousands of dollars as unemployment. No one else cares about you as much as I do because I'm still covering unemployment stimulus on this channel three years later. I want to remind you, because I always forget myself. <laughs> I always forget myself. I mean, it just feels like it was yesterday, but it was not yesterday. I, I was the very, very first person to record any video for unemployment stimulus. How do I know that? Because the websites were not open. The websites were not open. I actually made videos before the unemployment stimulus of the pandemic started. And I said they're going to open them about three days from now, get the applications in ahead of time. 
And people thought it was crazy. I'm like, no, because this is first come, first serve stuff. You know how this works. And it, it just feels like it's yesterday. It really just feels like it yesterday. I remember people saying Hawaii was having problems with the, pro with the computers. And three years, and I'm never going to leave the subject matter because unemployment is important. I mean, people are always getting fired. Except me. <laughs> it's a lie. Uh, in the big second half, we can continue over what's going on with the rest of the economy. But here's what you need to know, is that stimulus is still heating up, and it's still getting broader across the board. It was less than one week ago when Joe Biden took stimulus check E and expanded across the board. And these nuances are very subtle. And they are a difference of tens of thousands of dollars for you. That's why you want to become a member. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, 75000 less, single individual, married couple, 150000 less. Go get these incredible stimulus checks, 80Q. Largest stimulus check, 100000 Smallest, 8000 Fastest routing time, two days. Join us starting on Monday, started by Wednesday, had $45,000. The end of the week, he had 75000 But remember, he got 15 applications in. That's how you do it. We have the computer, the car, the home repairs, the appliances, the free internet, the monthly stimulus checks, the MSCs. We have checks that run 18 months. We have checks that cover everything from free internet to free appliances to free meals. We have a little bit of, of, of almost everything. It is all in that incredible membership newsletter. And the stimulus now is more than it's ever been in the United States, because once stimulus is passed, it remains law so long as it's still funded. And these are still funded. And that's why it's so exciting. In fact, stimulus check R is really only heating up right now. It's really brand new in a way for 2023. How do you get all these details? Become a member. Join the channel. Welcome to the 100 new members who have joined LA1, LA2, or LA3. Once you become a member, or how do you become a member? Remember to join on the channel. Then you go to that membership newsletter. That's the membership newsletter. It's at the top of the pad, chat, pin comment in the description of every video on all three channels. Go right into that membership newsletter right now. Grab the password, which is sent to you nearly 100 times per day in every post on all three channels for members. It'll say current password. It'll have the hawk next to it. Put it into that password protected website and you are ready to rock and roll. The password is updated once a day. These are your wonderful checks, ADQ for you, SSI and SSDI, veterans, low income. Then we have the children's checks, and also we have the small business at Stimulus Check R. Become a member right tonight. In the big second half, we'll go over the latest details, what happened with this economy today, and also the confusion that heated up after those comments that came in from this person. What did he say? Rumors that they're going to get rid of crypto stock in the U.S. for retail consumers. Does that mean they're getting rid of crypto in the United States? I'll explain the confusion that that quote led people to yesterday and its impact on the market today and crypto wall street live in the big second half here's bitcoin and ethereum today and decentraland plus we look at why lyft may need to take a a ride <laughs> lyft was down 30 percent and it may have to you know take a vacation for expedia down two percent as well what's going on here while well, the lady is across the board any stock of coins like yesterday, I'll explain why there was none, and also explain to you why there's likely to be more stimulus across the board. Plus, in tonight's broadcast, I will be answering one of the viewers' questions, and she asked for me to go over artificial intelligence that heated up with chat GPT and Microsoft last week. What is it? What does it mean? And how do you get financial exposure to it if it could make you money? That's, of course, always what we're looking at. Plus, I'll put that in the context of this also confusing word, crypto staking, which I all throughout today was saying stalking. Crypto staking. These terminologies are very important. And if you get confused by them, well, I'll explain it to you. We'll be jumping on some live charts. His dissension on right now. Bit right now. Mm, yeah, troubling. And also be looking at why there was no stalker coins throughout the day. It's a big second half. We're just getting started. It's America's most watched show for prime time financial news. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Crypto Wall Street Live heats up tonight's broadcast. What a show we got tonight. I'm so excited for you. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second from the shores of Santa Monica, California, as the markets opened higher this week and also ended higher. Well, the latest details of the big tech and half of Crypto Wall Street Live. Here is what Bit, Ethereum, and Decentraland did much of today. We had a big confusion that heated up yesterday with this quote. What did it mean and what was its impact? Lyft needs to take potentially a ride because it was down 30% and Expedia may need to take a trip while the latest details across the board. Plus, we'll go over why there was no stalker coins today and what it could mean for the rest of the next week as well. We'll go over the late details of potentially more stimulus and why next week is getting very exciting because of a big economic number that's coming in next week. Oh, boy, it's a big second half of Crypto Wall Street Live from the shores of Santa Monica, California. How are you? Tonight's broadcast, we're going to go over first the crypto, then we'll go over the Wall Street Lyft surprise, and then we'll get a preview of that econ data next week the CPI. How are you? In tonight's broadcast, we're going over the implications of a Thursday tweet from Brian Armstrong, and it may have confused a lot of you, so let's start with that tweet right now. Crypto rumors that the SEC may get rid of crypto staking in the United States for retail consumers. This is a comment by the head of Coinbase on Thursday. My apologies that throughout Yesterday, I was saying stalking instead of staking. Uh, what is crypto staking? Let me explain this to you. Crypto staking refers to basically a money market-like environment for your coin. Some of the platforms will say to you, you have $10,000 of Ethereum deposited with us. We will, or one of our partners will, give you an 8% money market return on that deposit. So you have $10,000 of crypto, and we'll give you $8,000 money market return. That's what they did, or they partnered with someone else to do it. And the SEC said, no, you cannot. And that's referring specifically to crypto staking, not to all crypto. So that comment by the head of Coinbase caused a lot of confusion yesterday first, or so maybe people thinking that the SEC was a shutdown crypto. No, he's talking about crypto staking. Rumors that the SEC would likely get rid of crypto staking in the United States for retail consumers should not be a surprise to you because the SEC has been talking that it's not appropriate to have crypto staking in the United States. Those comments, of course, were Brian Armstrong, but they should not be a surprise to you if you've been watching Ally Light. However, the reaction of the news was likely what you thought. Some people read it as they're shutting down crypto. No, they're trying to shut down crypto. Staking is what he was referring to. The impact initially was that a lot of the major coins like Bit broke under support levels and also Decentraland. Support levels of which we were watching since last Sunday, and these aren't one-week support levels. By Friday, the coins came back, but not enough. Throughout Thursday and throughout Friday, we had no stalker coins. Stalker coins are our coins we go in and get out at a 50% potential return in one day. We had none of them because this was not particularly good news. So are we over the impact of those Brian Armstrong CEO Coinbase comments from yesterday? Are we still feeling them going into the weekend? Let's look at the charts right now and let's analyze it left and right. 
These charts, I will tell you, will look a little bit different than even just an hour ago on afternoons. It's certainly different than this morning's broadcast where we went on over that as well. Here it's essentially it's a green chart, obviously up for the day. And bit, mm-hmm. Mm, it looks about as bad as it looked about afternoon show today. If you do not realize, uh, Crypto Wall Street Live is now featured on Afternoon's LA and Morning's LA on air. So let's look in that chart right now. How troubling is this chart? I'm in the chart with you, and this is the one-day chart on Bitcoin. It's red, it's down, and we have broken through the one-day support level. In fact, we're almost at the lows the entire day. That one day support level was 21,800. We broke under it. Let's look at the one week support level. Yeah, you see the problem there. And let's look at the one month chart. And these support levels should not be a surprise to you because they've been featured on this channel for over a month. So, how do you find the support level? What is support level? Support level is a floor, it's holding the coin above a price level. You don't want to break under the support level because if you don't have support to stay above a price, then you could fall further down. And how do you find the support level? Very simple. We're looking at a three-month chart, Bitcoin. Gemini is the platform giving us the chart. How do I find the support level? Just look over to the left. When was the last time we were any point lower? You can see it. It's that little flat area on the left. I'm going to put my mouse in the chart right now with you. There we go. It's about 20,800, 20,900. That was our last major, last lower support level, 20,900. How close are we to breaking under that support level right now, live on air? About $1,000 away. Very, very close. Did we break under support level earlier today? Yeah, this support level, 22000 We broke under that earlier today. And so I said, I don't want to break under that. Well, we did. Now we have this support level, 21000 and a few pennies. How close are we to it? We're right on the money. We're right on the floor of our support level. Our feet are on the floor, the support level's right underneath us, and we're trying to not break under the floor. How do you find that support level? You look all the way to the left, we're looking at Gemini, we're looking at Bitcoin, and we're looking at a three month chart. Why do we know it's three month? Because the upper right says 3M. Visually draw a ruler all the way to the left, and when was the last time we were lower? You see that little flat area on the left? That's when we were lower. What happens if we break under that support level? You see that lower left side. You see that far left side. We can go all the way back to that crypto winter problems that we were worried about. We don't want to break under today's support level, which is also our three-month support level. Why do we know it's three-month? Look at the upper right. It says 3M. When was the last time we were that low? Three months. How do we know it? All the way to the left. See that flat area? We don't want to break under that support level because look what happens. Whammo. You fall all the way to 17,000 potentially. So that is the concern across the board. Here's the one day chart. Here is the one month chart. And now here's the three month chart. So we are right at the edge of the support level of 20,000 from three months ago. And in my opinion, we are currently in crypto spring. We have come out of crypto winter, but if we don't hold this support level, we're going right back to crypto winter because there's nothing lower. There's no support level under the current support level. And this is why we're really on the edge of a question mark across the board. If you've been watching this channel for the last two years, generally coins trade down on Friday into Saturday and trade up on Sunday. We don't know if it's going to repeat itself that way in 2023. This channel is now back into its new year of Crypto Wall Street Live, so the markets are slightly different. But we'll watch it together this weekend with new shows on this channel. If the markets repeat their behaviorisms over the weekend where we go down on Friday, down on Saturday, and up on Sundays, but I don't want to go any lower because then we're breaking through support levels. Let's look out the three months and see how troubling this is. Yeah. You break under the support level right now, folks. You see you're going right back to the thick of winter. And I don't want that to happen. And that is Bitcoin right now. The impact of it, Decentraland. Decentraland was not marrying Bit in recent days, but it is right now. Here's the one-day chart. Here is the one-month chart. We broke it under support level on Decentraland. Here's the three-month chart. 
So now you see the impact of that support level to the central line as well. Visually, take a rule in your mind and draw it all the way to the left. It looks like it's everything underneath those little peaks and those little valleys. If we break under that support level, we go all the way to the left side of that graph. Crypto winter. That support level in descent line is right around there. 76, 78, 79, 70, 71, 68. It's right around there. You see it. We've, we've tested a few times. One, you can count it. How many, count how many valleys are on that graph. Almost five. And what happens if we break under that? We could go all the way back to this 40 cents. Oh, we don't want that. We really do not want that. And why do I believe this is happening? I think a little bit is caused by confusion of terminology. I mean, we can only know so much. I saw this quote and I, I freaked out. And then I realized, oh, he said crypto staking. He didn't say crypto. He said crypto staking. People read very quickly. Sometimes they misread. And it sounded like he was saying, Brian Armstrong, the shutting down crypto in the United States. I don't like quotes like this because it's just, it. If you, if you miss the word, you think it sounds, it sounds like they're shutting down crypto. And I think that some people may have misread the quote. I mean, I initially read it and I freaked out. Uh, and I read, oh, he said crypto staking. And then if you don't know what crypto staking is, then it's a whole different ball of wax. Now, in the big second half, let's go into what's happening with Wall Street and its impact on this economy as well. What a day it has been. And it started with Expedia that may need to take a trip. <laughs> <laughs> the stock was down 2%. And also Lyft, uh, you need to give it a ride because it was down 30% on a massive, massive revenue miss. Plus, what's happening next week? Well, what's happening next week is the excitement of some inflationary data. And the big second half, I'll also be going over my commentary on the end of inflation in the supermarkets. Wow. Plus, I'll be answering Anne's questions about what is artificial intelligence, what is chat GPT, and why was I so excited for Microsoft last week. Let's go over the details on the financial markets starting right now. Bank America downgraded Deutsche Bank in a major analyst report today obtained by Highlight News. What do they say? Deutsche Bank has now been downgraded to underperform for neutral. So your ratings are super way overweight by neutral sell. Uh, run for cover. <laughs> and so Bank of America has downgraded Deutsche Bank to underperform from neutral. We see Deutsche Bank struggling to improve profitability. Uh, do I like Deutsche Bank? No. <laughs> Would I buy Deutsche Bank? No. A uh, consumer outlook improved in February, though inflation outlook is up as well. The University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Report, which is really based upon who you're asking. If you're asking that person in the, in the house chamber with that horrible white Fake fur coat, or was it fake or was it real? Uh, what her consumer confidence is. Uh, she'll tell you one thing, but I will probably not agree with her. Uh, Universal Commission's <laughs> consumer confidence sentiment was a 66.4 up from the prior month, and do I care? No, because the consumer is misinformed. If the consumer is misinformed, they're gonna give you a wrong number. The aluminum fell to lows not seen in over a month, and the other question mark is, how do you pronounce aluminum? <laughs> Those people in Europe have a wonderful way to pronounce al aluminum. Yeah. But here's where people need to take a ride. Lyft. Lyft was really under pressure today. Uber was featured on the channel over the last two weeks. It's been doing really well. I mean, you, you could see how exciting it has been a stock straight up in recent weeks. Lyft, not the same situation. Lyft was under 30% down today. Uh, weaker guidance for fiscal quarter earnings anticipated ninety-seven and nine hundred seventy-five million dollars of revenue, basically one billion, and it came in much lower than expected. Uh, the problem with this market is that two similarly situated companies may deliver very different results, and that's why you can't say, "Well, I'll buy a Lyft instead of an Uber." Nope. Uber delivered and Lyft didn't. The stock was down 30% after a massive revenue miss, not particularly good across the board. Also, with a surprising miss, and again, you can't generalize with this economy because it'll leave you on the wrong side of the equation. Travel and leisure, all does well? No. Speed it down 2% on its major miss as well. Came in at 1.26 billion revenue versus a 2.628 billion expected. And earnings per share was a massive miss. Not good. Brent crude futures are up. This is on news that Russia will uh, cut crude exports. And then PayPal slipped 
on after our stream yesterday. Revenue came in 7.38 billion compared to a 7.39 billion. And the CEO said he's also going to be stepping down across the board. Could more stimulus checks be coming to Americans? There are. So we have that expansion of the stimulus check E that was announced by the Biden administration a week ago today. What I want you to do tonight is I want you to focus and see, have you gotten all your checks lined up for February? Go through that membership news and see, have I forgotten a stimulus check? Not gotten the application in? Did I not get paid for one? Maybe I forgot to do one of them. Go over them because we're still in the month of February. I like you to always double check on your stimulus. Why were there no breakout coins today compared to yesterday? And let me go with the details right across the board. So the impact of those Brian Armstrong comments yesterday did not help the markets. Again, this is that comment from Brian Armstrong. I believe the markets were confused by his comment, and they thought it meant the SEC shutting down crypto. If you don't know what, do not know what crypto staking is or miss the word staking in the sentence, you may have gotten confused by the quote. I know I was initially because I read it very quickly. The second two items I want to go over tonight, the next two items I want to go over tonight are first my commentary on inflation and next a question for a viewer on a platform and how to be exposed to it to get money. First, inflation. It's really exciting that grocery inflation is really potentially gone. It was two days ago that I went to a local market here in West Los Angeles, Santa Monica, and the, the, the supermarket was one that, you know, I patronized my entire life, but I had stayed away from for a year and a half because there was no way that I was going to spend hard-earned money on something that's not worth its value. I grew up much of my life seeing a, a tube of ground turkey about this big, generally about $9 at this one brand, at this one uh supermarket. And that ground turkey shrunk <laughs> over last year. Not the turkey, but the, the packaging shrunk over the last year. And the price went from about $9 to $18, almost sometimes $22. Could I get myself to buy that turkey? No, I was not going to be a turkey. <laughs> I was not going to do that. So what did I do for two years? It feels, I think it really was two years. It was 2020, it was 2021. It was longer than almost the pandemic. I was driving outside of West Los Angeles, Santa Monica, and driving down the South Bay. That's why you saw me so often in the South Bay, because I was going to non-unionized markets and buying turkey that was more potentially reasonably priced. While the grocery stores up here were shrinking the turkey, <laughs> shrinking the turkey, and raising the price all the way up to like $20. It was just insane. About a week ago, I noticed that the prices had come down and had not come down to last year prices, but to pre-pandemic prices. Now that original roll of ground turkey, which about five months ago was $22, yesterday I paid on sale $6. Can you imagine? It felt wonderful. It really felt wonderful. Again, the price before this all started was about nine. It went all the way up to 20 plus dollars in the last few months, and now it's back to $6. It feels really quite wonderful. I think the inflation in these supermarkets was really bad for so many reasons. It hurt the supermarkets because people stayed away from them and they found other ways to get the food. It hurt the employees because they got laid off because there's less consumers and less less salaries, to, uh, less revenue to pay the, the, the employees. And it really hurt sentiments. It, just, it felt awful being asked to pay you know, 300% more for something you just bought two months ago for the same price for 10 years. So I got to tell you, <laughs> there's nothing more wonderful feeling tonight than going to a, back to a market that you have patronized for over 10 years and the prices are the best they've been in three years. It really is a wonderful feeling. There's nothing worse than feel like that someone is like taking every last penny out of your pocket to charge you for something that is really not as worth its value. And to know that's finally over and gone and done with, it's like the end of COVID. It really is. I got to tell you, I feel like I've been celebrating for the last two days and realizing those prices are finally gone. Grocery inflation, at least, what I've seen, is now finally gone. It feels like it was long around more than even COVID. It was very, very bad. And it's so exciting to be back to a normal universe when you can go where you want to go, pay the normal prices, and not have to sort of double digit on your, on your scheduling to do things in a strange way. Now, let me go over a question that was asked by Anne. 
If you have a question about anything that is important for the financial markets or your exposure, ask it to me on private messaging and I'll feature it on air. Anne's question was the following. What is going on with this artificial intelligence? What is ChatGPT? How does it work? How can I get exposure to it? Is it important or what do I need to know? First, ChatGPT is not particularly that unique. It is basically artificial intelligence. What are versions of artificial intelligence we have lived for the last five years with? Number one, Alexia or Alexa. Hey Alexa, play um, Anne's favorite song. Soldier, um, uh, Doja Cat. <laughs> hey Alexa, give me a, a, a give me a zucchini boat recipe. <laughs> Alexa will respond based upon your based upon your comment. Now it's a little bit different than that because Alexa is responding to a request. Artificial intelligence is doing something based not upon a request. So it's basically saying, um, it's like this. Uh, Alexa, I want to make dinner. What should I make? Uh, zucchini boat, Anne. You love zucchini boat. <laughs> so Alexa, in this example, knows the artificial intelligence that Anne likes zucchini boat. And so it's recommending zucchini boat based upon knowing that Anne likes zucchini boat. Why does the artificial know, intelligence know that Anne likes zucchini boat? Because the artificial intelligence got that information from me and did not pay me for that information. Yeah, there's a big controversy about that. That artificial intelligence gets information from other people and doesn't pay for the information. Uh, <laughs> And then saves your information. Um, that is how artificial intelligence works. It gives you recommendations based upon your prior behaviors. Is this unique? No, it's been around forever. It's called, for example, cookies. If you've ever gone to, let's say, buy a razor, an electric razor, and you don't buy it, and then you go to another website, and then it says, oh, you want to buy an electric razor? Oh, that was the one I was just looking at. How did you know that? Because it put a cookie on your computer and said, let me recommend that for you to buy it again. Amazon does this. It's been around for you know decades and decades. So that's a version of artificial intelligence. Is it so groundbreakingly new? No. <laughs> uh, is it something technologically that excites me? No. I don't find it very interesting at all, actually. <laughs> Compared to the metaverse, I find it very bland. It's, I, I, find it, I don't find it technologically interesting whatsoever. Now let's go over the financial part of it, which I think was really Anne's question. How can I be financially exposed to it if it really pops? Obviously, the companies that are into the play. First out the door, ChatGPT's owner, Microsoft, MSFT, on the NASDAQ. That's the most obvious way to exposure to it. And the next, of course, would be Alphabet, which was under some controversy, series of comments later today. But you really, if you want exposure to, Ch to ChatGPT, you would buy its, its owner, which is Microsoft, on the NASDAQ. And don't expect... Microsoft to be the only artificial intelligence player. Do I think this is the big new wave of the future? No, I don't. I just think this is sort of the the uh, the soup of the day. I think it's really just the soup of the day. A lot of news broadcast broadcasters just want to find something that's sort of interesting, bring it out, and it's just sort of like, you know, passion fruit for January. <laughs> In tomorrow's broadcast, we'll be going over more to what to see. Super Bowl weekend, the Phoenix Open, all in the same city for golf and Super Bowl. And will I be here? I will be here. Uh, I did get some invites, but, you know, I'd rather be with you. <laughs> I'll give you the address for some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> for the shorts of Santa Monica, California. You're doing such a great job. If you have a question about something else you want to be featured on this channel, send to me. I'll feature it on air. Again, the exposure to artificial intelligence would be Microsoft MSFT on the NASDAQ. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, everything you need to know and everything you need to know when it happens. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's every night here at 5 o'clock Pacific time. It starts with the 4 o'clock show on LA Light. Three, Crypto Wall Street Live starts every night at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Channel 3. Then at 5 o'clock in prime time on LA One is the show you're watching potentially right now, LA Light Live. And then at 6 o'clock on Channel 2 is Stimulus Live. Everything you need to know at any moment of the day is always here. It's always across the board, and it's always on LA.